And so that's my encouragement to you guys is no matter where you are right now, as you go out and build a personal brand, be real, be honest. There are things that you do exceptionally well. They may not be producing an exceptional income for you right now, but there are things that you do that are unique. There are things that you do that are great. Talk about those things. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Sales Wolves podcast. As always, I'm your host, Tyler Jack Harris, and I am a sales wolf. Ow! Oh, my voice cracked in the middle of it. That was a that was a uh, prepubescent wolf that just howled there. I apologize. Apparently, I'm going through wolf puberty. It is episode 141 of the Sales Wolves podcast, and. Uh, I want to talk to you guys about a post that I did the other day, and I hope it rubbed some people the wrong way, because if it did, it's probably maybe a little bit of truth that they needed to, uh, to hear. And it's what we see all over social media. It seems as though the people, it seems as though the people that are posting the most on social media, if we actually took a look at their life and if we actually took a look at their finances are probably not successful. And so the post very clearly up front, I, I kind of mashed together and made a collage of the most stereotypical like influencer photos. It was like a girl at Coachella and like a guy at Burning Man and some shoes on a private plane and things like that. A guy in a, you know, supercar. And I said, the idea is to, or the goal is to be successful, not just look successful. But I feel like that's kind of what this social media world has created is this environment where people want to look successful so that they can attract more people so that then they can ultimately sell them something to then become successful. But the best content, the best influence are the ones that have actually, I know this sounds crazy, have actually done something and are successful and then share based on what they've done and based on what they're doing and are providing value and giving back. And that should be what we're looking for. I can understand that, you know, for those of you that are listening to this right now and you're thinking, man, I, I'm not successful. Yeah. I hadn't done anything, you know, big yet. Well, that's fine too. And what you need to do is be honest and be transparent and be your authentic self and talk about your journey and talk about the steps that you're taking towards success, the things that you're doing to become successful, but fake it till you make it just doesn't work. There's no exit strategy because you're trying to give an appearance that you're something that you're not. And it's, it's, it's just, it's lying and it's not living in truth. And so what does that look like? So, you know, for me, when I first started documenting my life, you know, coming up January will be three years uh, on social media. You know, I had achieved some success, but I certainly hadn't done anything huge. I hadn't had a big like exit, you know, that you see these people like, you know, I sold this company and made this many million and now I'm out, you know, I'm this big entrepreneur influencer. But I had done some, something that, you know, I felt was unique and what I saw was this gap on social media. And so if you take the average person in America, let's say from 30,000 to 300,000 in income and 300,000 is not exactly your average uh, person in America, but let's just take that range 30 to 300. If they want to go online and specifically if they're going to social media and they want to learn something, uh, or they just want to get inspired. They want to get motivated. There was really only two types of people they could go to. One was the multi, multi, multi-millionaire, the extremely successful, the, you know, the, the Andy Frisellas, the Gary V's, the Tony Robbins, the, you know, you name it and you know who they are. And when I, when I say that, and that's great and that's incredible. And they put out awesome, awesome content, but there's an element of the content that becomes unrelatable to the average person. 
Because when you look at their lives and you look at the infrastructure that they have built around them, you look at the lifestyles that they're living when they're getting on their private jets and hopping out of their, you know, supercars and they've got a team around them at all times. And it, it just for the average person that's looking for that real, real content that they can, you know, grasp onto and grow with, it's very difficult because it's it's like, it's like they're watching a movie, right? They're like watching this fictional movie and that's great for them, but that's not me. And how do I cross and bridge that gap? And then you have the other type of person on social media, which is basically the person that's faking that they're the first. So you've got the ultra successful and then you got the person faking that they're ultra, that they're ultra successful. And I just couldn't find many people in between. I'm sure they're out there but they're so few and far between. And so I took a look at my life at that point and having gone from being flat broke and in a bad place in my life to 12 months later, making over 300 grand to 12 months later, making over 450. I said, okay, I'm not the ultra, ultra successful yet, but I've done something significant. I've done something to give me credibility, give you hopefully a reason to, to listen to what I have to say. And so I just want to document the entire journey from here to there with the goal in mind that as I continue to level up and level up as I did the next year, making over 650, as I did the next year, making over 700, as I did the next year, making over 800. And as I get to that point, ultimately in my life where I am extremely successful and have done these incredible things, the idea is for you guys to level up with me. But at the very least, when I do get to that point, I will remain relatable because you would have seen the entire journey unfold. You would have seen the entire process take place. And those that will start following me 10 years from now, 20 years from now, they'll be able to go back and see this content laid out in front of them for decades when it wasn't that type of lifestyle, when it wasn't that type of infrastructure. And I'll be able to hopefully remain relatable when I shouldn't be. And so that's my encouragement to you guys is no matter where you are right now, as you go out and build a personal brand, be real, be honest. There are things that you do exceptionally well. They may not be producing an exceptional income for you right now, but there are things that you do that are unique. There are things that you do that are great. Talk about those things but also talk about those things that you're not so great at. Be honest with your content. Don't try to fake that you're something that you're not just to impress people because where's the exit strategy? Like what, like at some point that's going to fail because you can't put on those appearances forever. That'll get exhausting. You'll burn out. The next thing I wanted to mention is those that are putting tons of content out there the guys that are speaking on stage. One thing that just absolutely drives me crazy. And you guys know, I I try to focus so little on negative things, but one of the few things that legitimately drives me crazy is that every single day of the week, night of the week, there's a mastermind, you know, event, million dollar mastermind, billion dollar, epic luxury yacht party night, like just event every single night in every single city with people standing on stage talking that again, haven't done anything other than maybe gotten their Instagram account verified or accumulated a bunch of followers, probably in a non-ethical way. And so when you see these people on stage and when you see these Instagram ads that plug you into a funnel and you start getting funneled emails talking about how you can become you know, a millionaire and how you can make six figures in 60 days and all of these things that's out there, start asking real questions like message them. Hey, what, what was your adjusted gross income on your tax return last year? If they don't know what adjusted gross income is, you should probably run the opposite way, but they should be able to tell you point blank. They should be able to tell you. And it's always a good indicator when you ask that question to someone like, Hey, what's, what's, what's the most money you ever made in a year? I think you would be shocked 
at the influencers out there that will either avoid the question, avoid the answer, give you some type of cryptic response of, you know, money isn't everything when it seems as though their content displays something very, very different. Or you may be completely surprised if they answer truthfully how little it actually is. And I know this from experience. Like I, I, I see people on social media that I know how much money they're making or how much money they're not making. And I see this life that they're portraying online and it's just not real. And it bothers me because they're taking advantage of people. They're taking advantage of you because they're charging you money to do what they're doing, but they're actually not doing it. The sales coaches out there that have never actually excelled in sales other than the sale of their sales coaching. Like, think about that. So you have a sales coach that's never actually done well in sales other than selling their sales coaching products. Like how absolutely ridiculous is. But when you see it on social media, it looks great. They've got this presence, they've got their speaker reel and they're on all these different stages and, you know, shouting and getting people fired up. But what have they actually done? And look, if you get something from that and you get motivated and hyped up from it and it makes you go out and perform better then that's great. But I think we need to start looking at and auditing the people that we're being allowing ourselves to be influenced by. Like I want to only allow people to influence me that are doing incredible things. I don't want to be influenced by fake stuff. I don't want to be influenced by fake people. I don't want to be influenced by false narratives that are being portrayed on online. It's a problem. And so as you scroll through Instagram today, just take a look at who you're allowing in your feed. And I think there's a lot of people that quite frankly, you just need to unfollow because their content isn't building you up and their content is coming from a place of just this fairy tale fantasy land (laughs) and it's affecting you whether you realize it or not. So take a look at who you're allowing into your life, who you're allowing into your mental capacity and maybe start asking them some tough questions and making some decisions on whether or not that's a person that you need to follow or not, because there is a lot of this stuff out there. There is more fake stuff out there than real. And one good indicator before I close is who's doing the most live content because you can only fake it for so long when it's live. You know, it was such a funny thing, a funny, funny thing when Instagram came out with Instagram stories and you saw these big motivational accounts, all of a sudden the owners of those accounts or the creators of those accounts jumped on Instagram stories for the first few times and it didn't last very long. They popped on there, said something. It sounded like really not put together, not very eloquent, not very smart. And they very quickly realized like, oh, I should probably just keep posting memes and not actually speak from my truth because they're actually not successful. And that's a problem. So when you find those actual influencers out there, those real entrepreneurs out there, the ones that are really doing something, cling to that content and support those people that are, that are being honest and transparent and authentic because that's what the world needs. And that's what social media certainly needs. And you know, next 12 months, 24 months, the market's going to crash and a lot of that stuff will go away. And the best thing in the world that those people that have been creating this false narrative of what their life really looks like, the best thing in the world that they could possibly do is document the fall and document their rise to success. But what I know is that 0.001% will actually do that because their ego will be shattered in the process. So that's it for this episode 141 of the sales wolves podcast. As always, I'm your host, Tyler Jack Harris, and I am a sales wolf. Ow!